What's going on, everyone? I'm going to be doing a lot more videos just for the past two days. I've been doing a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> and I'm in a new place. Oh, I moved. Those light bulbs are really nice, I guess. It, some of the room, I mean, the room is bright, but the light bulbs are up a little bit more than the ceiling where they're at. So it doesn't, there's like a little bit of shadow, but I guess this is pretty good because you, you do want your footage, when you face the footage against yourself, you know, it's not as high quality as does to where someone's filming you, the front camera, in the back camera, but, you know, there are certain times to do certain things, it's just hard to see yourself on the other end and set it up, so I want to make some things clear, when, make sure you subscribe to my channel because that helps me, it really does because it's going to take a couple people to help me before a bunch of more people, quote unquote, support me. And if you want me to break that down too, all rich people, all celebrities, pretty much they're all supported by you. Anybody who has more money, especially, it just has to be that way. So when people are like the underdogs or coming up. They, they usually don't have the, you know, the money, the resources that rich people and well-connected, it's, it's impossible to be popular and not be rich. It's almost impossible. Same thing with famous. <laughs> All these people are supported by other people. <laughs> Anyways, the adversity in my life is what made me, or how I set it up to be, coincidentally, and luckily, my lessons were very young. I was in a ro long relationship probably starting at 15. Most people are not at a strong relationship and ending probably about by 18, if not somewhere around that. And that was one of my, or you could say a very valuable lesson. I've had brother steal off of me. I lost all my best friends. See, a lot of people don't lose all their best friends. And I know some don't have best friends. That's very few. But for the majority, they have a best friends. I was unlike different people though. But I lost all my friends. Yes, all my friends basically. And my girlfriend, which was a friend, all at one time. <laughs> there wasn't no reason for it. It wasn't because of me. <laughs> so to speak. And if you don't know, I am a, uh, an outgoing person. <laughs> I do like to be around people. <laughs> so I lost all those people probably at I don't know when I, when that happened but that was probably around like 18 17 and then I had you know a, 
brother steal off of me, which was a lot of money, because I would probably be rich now. <clears throat> I would be rich back then, for sure. <laughs> So the only reason I bring this up is because if you want to, whatever that you care about so much, see if you can flip the script. What if that person just stole off you and never came back? Would you be mad? What if the girlfriend you have or the boyfriend you have leaves you for someone else? What are you going to do? Most people get stuck in this. They're mad. They want revenge. And it lasts all their life. <laughs> well, the joke's on them because it's not until you give up, relinquish all the negative feeling, then you'll get over it. <clears throat> Even if you do get revenge, are you over it? Are you still thinking about it? <laughs> so, my lessons, how I became, I forgave a lot of people. I didn't read a Bible. <laughs> I didn't have to tell anyone to tell me to forgive these people. It basically naturally came. The first and hardest part, and this is what all meditators and people alike talk about, especially if you're pre program, is the initial instinct thing to do. Realistically, a natural instinct thing to do for an unconscious person is to go, and I don't want to say rape, but if someone was horny enough, they would go after a girl, a guy especially, would got, would go after a girl to fuck them. More reasonably, it would be nature trying to force you to have a baby. Because that's what would happen. <laughs> so, that would be the drive. That's how insane the drive is. But you can grab it under control. In fact, it's not even a control it's more so just an essence of it not being there. People say don't think about sex and or 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 distract your mind. <laughs> you, you know nothing of sex then. <laughs> you can obliterate the whole essence of sex and be coming to, to a new feeling and dimension of reality. No one knows what I'm talking about because all those Joe Smoes on the internet have no clue what they're talking about. And even if they do, they can't initiate it to another person. <laughs> so
So through the adversity, through those little trivial things, you can defeat them naturally, but that doesn't bring you to an enlightenment. What enlightenment really is, is something different, but those can look similar, is basically when you have no feeling towards anything, because it brings the best feeling inside of you, because that's the natural, <clears throat> that's the natural feeling, the natural residence is already inside of you. That residence is how intuition, God talks to you. It's also what you are really fabricated of. The essence. Though those lessons were very grand and popular, my enlightenment came from a different experience. But that will be all for this video. Make sure you subscribe. And if you'd like to make a donation, snap, crackle, fizzle, and that will be right in Cash App. Thanks for tuning in.